Hey everyone, welcome to this EMT prep video on calculating drug concentrations. Let's get started. So to calculate drug concentration, you need two pieces of information. You need the total amount of drug, and you need the total amount of volume that the drug is in. So the total drug, or the total amount of drug, is going to be uh, either your milligrams, your micrograms, or however uh, the drug is dosed inside the total amount of volume inside that vial or preload or bag that you've got. So let's take a look at an example to see what we're talking about. Let's look at furosemide, also known as Lasix. Furosemide comes in a 40 milligram preload. Inside that preload is 10 milliliters of fluid. So you have your total drug of 40 milligrams over your total volume of 10 mils. If we work that out, we see that the concentration of furosemide for this preload is four milligrams per mil. But what happens if your concentration is expressed as a percentage? We see that occasionally. Let's take a look at what happens when we have a drug concentration that's expressed as a percentage. So for our example, we're going to use lidocaine. Lidocaine comes in many different concentrations, but let's take a look at the lidocaine 2%. That percentage is equal to the same thing every single time. It's representative of the number of grams of that drug inside 100 milliliters of fluid. So with lidocaine 2%, we're looking at a drug that has two grams of drug inside 100 milliliters of fluid. If we work this out, we see that we have 2,000 milligrams in 100 mils. If we cancel out our zeros, we see that lidocaine 2% has a milligram per mil concentration of 20. To hammer home the point even more, let's take a look at one more example. This time we're going to look at dextrose. Dextrose is a drug that comes in many different concentrations, but let's take a look at the D50, dextrose 50% concentration. Again, 50% represents the number of grams inside 100 milliliters of solution. However, 50 grams is equal to 50,000 milligrams. We put that over our 100 mils, we cancel out our zeros, and we see that we get 500 milligrams per mil. Now, if you've ever seen a preload of D50, it's usually not expressed as a concentration of 500 milligrams per mil. It's usually always shown as 0.5 grams per mil, which is the same thing. I hope that clears up some difficulties you may or may not have been having with drug concentrations. Make sure to check out our other videos on MedMath. Thanks for watching.